Hey Cherubs, this is my best friend Chelsea. Chelsea doesn't like chocolate. And so, I set out to create a cookie that surpasses chocolate chip cookies! Uh, obviously I failed, but I did end up with a recipe for oatmeal, whole wheat, coffee, cinnamon, blueberry, white chocolate chip cookies. Introducing Dr. Uechi's famous- Actually, they're called Chelsea's, because Chelsea's version tastes better than mine. And, you know, that's okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Why can't you let me have anything? Take three-fourths of a cup of butter and leave it out for about one to two hours to let it reach room temperature. Combine half a cup of granulated sugar, one cup of packed brown sugar, a quarter cup of decaf freeze-dried coffee, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and stir. I'm frequently asked why I use freeze-dried coffee. If you pour brewed coffee into the dough, it becomes too watery. And if you add ground coffee to the dough, you get coffee bean cookies, which are fine if that's your thing, but they're kind of bitter. So if you want cookies with a sumptuous, smooth coffee taste and finish, I don't know how to make those. So we're going with freeze-dried coffee for now. Next we cream the butter and sugar mixture together. If you've never done this before and you don't have forearms, you're gonna want a stand mixer. When you first start creaming, you're gonna get a dough that kind of looks like a Coca-Cola Icy. Keep creaming until it turns a lighter color. Next, we add two eggs and a tablespoon of vanilla extract and beat those together. Then we add half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of table salt and beat those together until smooth. Add a cup of oatmeal to the dough and stir. Next, we're going to incorporate two cups of whole wheat flour slowly into the dough. If you add it too quickly, you make a big dust cloud. But don't mix it for too long. Once you start adding flour, mixing the dough causes gluten to develop and you start making bread. Which is okay if you're me, but that's not what most people want. Add one cup of blueberries and one cup of white chocolate chips and fold them into the dough. Alternatively, if you're willing to abandon reason for madness, you can instead add two cups of chocolate chips and create Dr. Uechi's famous chocolate Chelsea's. They're called chocolate Chelsea's. Refrigerate the dough overnight. Now, I know what you're thinking, and don't skip this step. Patience is a really important virtue in baking, and in life in general. No, no, I want it, I want it, no! Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Make balls of dough about the size of golf balls, place them onto a sheet pan, and stick them into the oven for about 13 and a half minutes. Let them cool on a cooling rack for at least 10 minutes. The cookies should be soft, so when you break into them, you should expose a gooey, molten center. And that's what really embodies Chelsea's. An earnest, wholesome character combined with a soft, tender heart. A deep and enriching flavor profile that is a pleasure to know and experience. I hope that Chelsea's bring a smile to your face in the same way that they've brought smiles to mine. What? Oh, man. Oh, the cookie dream again. Ugh. Whatever. Today we're going to be making whole wheat sandwich bread. 